Tom's story tonight after a bombshell TV report uncovered what some would say a badly run police force tonight in Coffee City. The council there taking a vote what goes on next for their police department. KETK's Ashlyn Anderson was there when members made their decision and breaks down exactly what happened. Monday night, Coffee City Council members determined the fate of their chief of police, John J. Portillo, and the entire department. We vote to fire and terminate him as the chief of police here at Coffee City. Effective immediately. Yes. Effective immediately. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 This decision came after an investigation by a Houston television station detailing Portillo's past record. We had confirmed that the DWI uh, allegation was, was true. At that point, we had already made the decision that we were going to vote to terminate Chief Portillo. As for the department's reserved officer program, which was found to be operating in Houston, the city voted to deactivate the entire department. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Portillo needed to be fired for what he's done. Um, and the de deactivation, I don't even see why we have a police station in this area. The Henderson County Sheriff's Department will now cover all calls out of Coffee City until a new chief is appointed. The most severe is going to be the quickest, uh, but we will handle these calls like we do anywhere else in the county. Some residents fear that this gray area will take too long and their needs won't be a priority. The surrounding areas are not the best and without a police presence, they will encroach on our peaceful, wonderful little community that we have here. Mayor Jeff Blackstone says it's time to move on and build better representation. Going forward, we're going to have a much better community. We're going to have a new police department that everybody in the community can trust and that is going to be working towards serving our community. Wiping the slate clean towards a better future for Coffee City. Mayor Blackstone says that the reserve program officers are all gone for good. As for the other active on duty officers, they can go work for other departments or reapply when a new chief is established. Neil Casey question right here. The chief now is gone, but all sorts of allegations still against him. Yeah, what exactly happens now with Portillo's 30 day suspension, but also just the investigation in its entirety, like moving forward after tonight's decision, right? Mayor Blackstone said that tonight's decision means that the investigation is coming completely over and that and then mostly about how much time it would take to look into each officer is why the the, um, the investigation will be done and then he also adds going forward that they will do an extensive background check into everyone that applies in studio Ashlyn Anderson K2K News.